Competitive Pokemon Singles has been around for a very long time. Online competitive battle simulators have existed since even before the release of Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Net Battle being the earliest example. Generation 4 introduced Wi-Fi battles to the series, which caused a big influx of interest in competitive Pokemon. These older generations all still have active communities today, and each offer unique mechanics and flavor. In my eyes, these old generations are the most enjoyable competitive Pokemon experience you can have. I've been a huge advocate for old gens in my videos, especially Gen 3. But there was a YouTuber before me who sparked my interest in many of these old metagames, with fantastic breakdowns, team building guides, Guides, discussions, and hours of gameplay footage. BKC is not only one of the best old gen focused creators here on YouTube, he's one of the best competitive Pokemon players in history, and he's been playing this game since the Gen 4 Wi Fi battle era. He is responsible for many metagame innovations, popular strategies, and can play at a high level in multiple different formats. So I've done the unthinkable. I challenged BKC to a multi-generational best of five set to determine once and for all which of us is the most powerful old gen YouTuber. In this set, we'll start off with a game of Gen 3 OU. The loser can then counterpick to any generation between one to five. Thank you to Ozma and Frozoid for helping put together this great idea. It's time to put my knowledge of these classic metagames to the test. Can I defeat one of the best Pokemon players of all time? Let's find out. But first, I must address the fact that Iron Mugulus recently made a shocking appearance in the all new Wolfie VGC video, disguised as the Pokemon Iron Jugulus. Subscribe to the channel so that we can investigate this incident and ensure that Iron Mugulus isn't up to any of his old tricks. Thank you. All right, we're in, we're gaming, okay. Now a Yama lead is expected, honestly, and it's put me in a tough spot. I sometimes like to just attack this guy because they always knock off, but then it's not a great Pokemon to get knocked off on Tyranitar, honestly. I think you've got to accept that the knockoff is happening. It's not the end of the world to get knocked on like Flygon or something because I do have wish support on this team. I probably will not get knocked on Skarmory because I, I can't like touch this guy. All right, I think we go Flygon. He could punch me or something. I'm playing around knockoff here. Probably a knockoff, yes. I, I'm accepting knockoff because there's not much else to be done. I'll chuck out an Earthquake, see what happens. It's a Salamence. Fair. Let's protect. That's okay. That was well played because now I'm minus one and I'm maybe getting knocked on something else. Thought I might get some info on the Salamence. Maybe he'd shoot a Dragon Claw into me. Though that would be unsafe, wouldn't it? That would be unwise. Let's just go for an Earthquake here. Check out my movie, The Blissey. It's an interesting gaming moment I find myself in. I'll go Skarm here. If he shoots out a T-Wave, I'm getting owned. Protecting is a potential risk. I don't think it'll be like Yama Magneton Blit. That'd be weird, right? I'll just check. Oh, it could be Wish. That would make sense. So I'm going to spike up, actually. I think it's probably Wish and then probably Lax Sedatus. Because you, you're like Ice Beam. Like... Seismic Toss Wish, Soft Boiled, Ice Beam. Something like that. Okay. So that means Articuno goes crazy against this. Let's go Articuno right now, in fact. And start roaring stuff out. Let's go for a roar. We'll preserve Skarm's health a bit. I could have protected once. Interesting. It's Claydol. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Probably Skarmory and something. This could be Wish Salamence, we don't know. It could be Aroma Bliss, maybe. Rest Claydol. That would be unlikely, right? I'm not invested, but it is. Oh, I crit. Well, I'm I'm gaming. <laughs> Sorry. That's that's unfortunate. Very speedy Claydol right there. Faster than 206. Some Claydols just go straight up jolly. It's useful for the um the super fast explosion, which gives you a lot of momentum. I wonder if this is gonna just focus punch me. I'm just gonna go to Flygon, I think. I almost want a Toxic on the incoming Salamence, but I would risk giving this Guts, but maybe that's what I have to do, is give this Guts. I'll just shoot off an Earthquake, that'll be okay for the moment. I do wonder if a Tyranitar is in the back or something, and then I'm in trouble. Maybe I should have gotten knocked off on this, because it has a direct form of healing. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, what if I go, if you knock off, you're a genius. I might go Moltres right here, because I think Overheat might actually finish off Hurryama. There's a high chance to KO, I think. Oh, that's a crit. That makes up for the prior situation. I wonder if I'm telegraphing Overheat. BKC might pick up on that, but... I'm going to say BKC's tired. He's working on a movie. He's not thinking about Overheat right now. He thinks he lives. 
He's going for rock slide. He's, oh, I, I'm saving as well as my. Oh, no! Oh, that sucks. That's okay. I, I mean, I crit your clay doll, so I think I'm still in a good spot. Uh, are you going to preserve the armor now? It's possible. And if I go. Oh, crap. I didn't think you would do that. I thought you would try to preserve the armor. I thought you would try to preserve this after seeing overheat. I can't go back now. Maybe I'll just get my spikes while I can. I'm kind of fumbling this as a problem. I think spike stacking is probably okay. Lose this and go Moltres again. I'd, I lack... I think Articuno might be able to carry with Ice Beam Roar and stuff. Because this Blissey is very passive. It doesn't have Toxic or anything to force the issue. I think Overheat KOs this. It's forcing it out and then... Blissey will come in and take a lot. I think I'll just click Roar. So whatever this Salamence is is a concern, folks. Oh, that's a, I don't know if that's a slight chance to live. There's a slight chance to live there. I don't know if, I don't know if BKC is the exact EV is. Oh, it was Thick Fat. It's interesting because I think we're both kind of even on the luck. I think I'm probably a bit luckier, to be honest. Critting the Claydol and actually critting there was important. If that's Thick Fat, he's telling the truth. I assume he wouldn't lie about that. Uh, that's really significant, folks. I'm going to go Jirachi and wish up my Articuno. Oh, did people think I was running the triple legendary trio? No, it's a bit hard to justify like three flag types on a team like that. We don't know what this Salamence is, folks. It's faster than me, which I assumed it would be, of course. I'm actually going to go to Tyranitar. And this is an unrevealed Tyranitar, so maybe I can actually trick Big AC into exiting here. Because I could easily be a physical set, he doesn't know. Let me crunch. Oh, I got a special defense drop. That's, that's large. I wonder if I can snipe this Salamence, folks. Can I? No. I thought I'd go for it. <laughs> Alright. That's, that's not happening. Oh, I kind of gave that away. That's bad. BKC wouldn't have done that. He wouldn't have just gone Salamence. I shouldn't... I should probably not be losing health here. It's not... I don't really need to. I can always wish up... Wish this up, though. Go for a slam. Oh, go for... Go to Snorlax. Okay. He did bring a Snorlax. I'm actually crap against Snorlax. I'm terrible against Snorlax. Right. Would it be like curse though? That seems unlikely. Surely it's not curse. I'm in huge trouble. This is a problem for me because my Skarmory has gone. I, sp I spent my Skarmory sp stacking spikes like a buffoon. I do wonder if I should. It sucks a bit that I didn't para this, but I can't complain. I can't complain at all. I 60% I para is probably worth going for to just disrupt this. We got the AQ. Articuno is naturally bulky. I'm going to protect. Okay. I can live another EQ. I cannot live a self-destruct, though. And losing Jirachi will be a huge problem. I'll go Flygon. I think I should go to Flygon. Just to... I don't really need Flygon. It's too low to actually check anything, and it covers EQ. I think I'll just click EQ. I want to do damage. Body Slam. Alright, that's good info. That's good. Double Snorlax Blissey is kind of crazy, folks. I didn't expect that. I'm very doubtful that this would have rest. And Moltres is sackable here. I'm just going to shoot off the overheat for damage. And I'm hoping... Yes, and I'm going to go Jirachi for the chip heal. This will die after sand. We've got the three spikes. We've got Articuno, reasonably healthy, Tyranitar, two. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Makes sense, though. Needs a... I mean, with Yama Claydol, you can actually afford no rock resist, maybe, but... We don't know the set at all. I might just shoot off a fire punch. Or I should para this. I feel like... I don't know if he would run... If he agilities here, I can just slam again, by the way. Oh, that's... Okay, that sucks. I wanted to hit the para so I could fire punch, then go for a Tyranitar Earthquake. Maybe I hit the burn. Actually, I could... I don't know if... It, I don't think two fire punches and an ice beam would have got there. I think my best bet is actually a freeze. I don't even KO with Earthquake. Damn. It's Rock Slide, actually. GG. Almost had that, folks. Almost had it. I wonder if I could have done two fire punches into the ice beam. The ice beam did 16. Actually, might have been enough. So I can challenge him to any gen. We'll go gen 5. We're up against Rain. Gyarados Rain, to be specific. It's rough because Tentacruel can get me. Maybe I actually lead with Kyurem Black. Controversially. Yes, I did lead with it. I did do it. I think you'll like Protect, so I'm just going to Fusion Bolt straight up instead of... I have a Lumberry for Skull Burn, so... 
Also, Bluff Band, maybe. I hope I get one win at least against BKC, folks. This is going to be embarrassing if I lose all these games. That's going to make me look like a bad player. We don't want that, no. Now, I wonder if BKC is going to play around the Magnus Zone. Would it, could it be possible? I'm going to substitute. I'm okay with revealing I don't have Band. And then, if you go Therathorn, it's a bit safe for me to go, for me to go straight to Magneton in that case. That's a crazy stay, by the way. I thought I think he was trying to catch the Magna Zone. That's probably what it was. But mid ground did it. This is also okay. I always forget if Fusion Bolt makes contact. I think no. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, you're gonna lock me in. That's okay. That's a lot of damage. Are you calm mind or something? That would be bad. But I do have an arrow with Sash on. So that's manageable. Is that even a problem? It's not much of a problem. You can lock into Surf. Or you might not even be locked in, is the problem. The thing is, you you might be bluffing Scarf to trick me. I wouldn't put it past you to do some, some crap like that. You would do something like that. Now, this is rough. Now, I'm in, a, in my own head. You would surf there, which is a bad lock-in from the perspective of a choice Scarf Latios. But that can't be true. It can't be the real thing. How am I supposed to use arrow in this matchup? Should I just go here and click rock? I'm going arrow. I, I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, it's recover. Indeed. Might just shoot off a stone edge. I think that might be more worthwhile than stealth rocking here. It's controversial. I'm going to do it. That does good damage. See? We've got the sash. I'll stealth rock this time. And we can revenge KO. With our own Latios. Hmm. Or I can go to Stami, in fact. Because Stami is a bit nicer against... It's got nicer coverage. It's faster than Latios as well. We've got analytic damage as well. That's a bonus. I'm going to Ice Beam. We can hit Tenta, which is useful for if I can pressure Tenta, Volcarona can sweep. I'm going to Fusion Bolt so as not to lose Substitute Health. I don't think I need to commit to that because Latios drops. Might get burnt. Didn't get burnt. I've still got the Lum Insurance anyway. Can Stami take a Latios Dragon Pulse? Let's see. Oh, that's all right. I could have got Magna Zone there. Latios is minus two now. Can Volcarona set up? I wonder, would you just sack this or would you go Ferrothorn? It might be better for you to just sack this to get Ferrothorn in as safely as possible instead of risking the mag. So you can guarantee rocks go up. Oh, you did. I didn't think you would, to be honest. I think I'm effed now because rocks are up and Volcarona and so Starby's down too. I suppose even if I doubled to Magneton, Magna Zone, uh, he would get rocks up. Anyway. Now he gets an additional spike to boot. What sucks is that Gyarados might have Earthquake and then I'm in big trouble. But you don't have a... Sp the thing is that my Latios goes crazy, doesn't it? My Latios simply goes insane. Is that not the case? Don't I simply click Dragon Pulse for a big moment in human history? We've got Vault. Alright. I might sack Curum to enable something. I could just stay and go for the two hit if I like. But then I might drop two. No, HP Ice is not doing that much. Thunder Wave is the big problem. I don't think I see that ever. That's a waste of a moveset. No, there's no way you run a Thunder Wave. Come on. I surely just Dragon Pulse here. HP Ice is doing about 40, 57 max. I can come in after another rock. Didn't hit the para. Protect. But we still, we still should KO. There's no switch in. I think Gara gets two hit too. You can sack Gara, get this back in, go for another Thunder. And that's an out for you. Oh, he does sack Latios. Okay. A Gara also probably clears, to be honest. Okay, Gara in. I'm just being careful. He said, if you're cursed up, I quit. If you dragon dance him, you might get me. I might completely throw this. Would this be. Ah, uh, it might be just choice, just choice scarf. Now it can't thunder, which is good. Uh, I, I might be thrown. We'll see. <laughs> I might be throwing. Hmm. I think it's Choice Scarf Gara. Okay, I think. Yep, we live. We live, and then. Oh, should I have gone Latios? I should have gone Latios, maybe. I should have gone Latios, because I live to. Oh, did I throw this? I threw this, folks. I threw the game. No, no, we're good. Because he lost lock into. I think I just live a waterfall. Stone Edge. Okay. Uh, he's, if he misses one, that's all. He has to miss one. That was poor. Oh. I mean, Stone Edge had to hit twice, so I guess I had but the Volcarona actually had to, can't even KO. We'll see what uh, Gen BKC chooses. I think he'll probably choose Gen 4, that's his comfort zone. We're playing Gen 2, folks. We're gaming. Let's go.
This is the only team I like in Gen 2. It's a sample team with a bunch of thief uses. I should go Cloister. You could Thunder me, maybe. But that would be a gamer's maneuver, and I would have to accept such a thing. I could spike up. Prepare for slow cinema. That's a good way to describe Gen 2. They say Gen 2 is the Barry Lyndon of uh, Pokemon metagames. Uh, here we are. It's toxic here. We've achieved spikes. We have achieved spikes. Let's go Gengar. Are you going to try and catch my Gengar? No, it's, it's impossible. You would never. Oh, you surfed me. You got me. You did it. All right. Well, I'm going to Thief. Maybe you go Snorlax. Oh, you go... You go Moltres. Am I thiefing a charcoal? I did thief a charcoal. I stole the charcoal. That's a terrible thing. You want to take a leftovers? How much are we doing to, to Ho-Oh here? Also known as Moltres. Oh, I got burned. That sucks. That's no good. That's, that's no good for Jim. I gotta rest up and get, de get destroyed. Oh, I win. I win. I'm better. I'm way better. It's crazy. Oh, you got rest yourself? That's insane. I think I want to just rest in case you exit. You probably exit, right? What if you got like Blissey Heal Bell? Ryan Golem? <laughs> we got Ryan Golem. On the field, folks. Say hello. We do have Ryan Golub on the field. I would like it to be known. Everybody, please say hello. You're going to spin, you you absolute freak? You did. You did it. I got a thief Gengar with charcoal. What am I to do? Would I go Zapdos? Would I dare? I'm not going to. With the unviable... Okay, unviables. I forgot to nickname my fellows, by the way. Are you going to play around Explosion, you absolute... If I explode your Zapdos, you're in trouble, right? Okay, yeah, you try, You did try to play around Explosion. I, knew, I thought you would do it. Now, you're going to try and kiss me or something. Oh, hypnosis me. Do you run Hypnosis? You got... Did your Thief Gengar yourself, you absolute freak of nature? Your Thief... I know you are. You have to be. You're going to light him on. All right, well, I live a Thunderbolt for myself. Let's go for it. Do we just 50 50 I T-Bolt because it's 24%... Min roll on Ice Punch. We don't want that. Okay, we, we got defeated. This outruns everything, unfortunately. But I can go to... No, I can't even touch this with Snorlax, can I? Well, that sucks. Could be Jinx this time. Psychic actually hits the entire world. Are you going to blow up on me? That's okay. It's okay, folks. It's winnable. Don't, don't let him tell you it's not winnable. He bluffed me by saying it would be a long game. He's got a pretty aggressive team here. With the sunny day Moltres for the that's for the fans at home. We gotta respect BKC for running that. Zapdos is gonna be my ticket out of here. I got Thunder, I got Whirlwind. I got HP Water for Golem. We're, we got the matchup. We got the matchup advantage. Let's use Snorlax to to effect. Oh. Uh I mean I'm just gonna I think it's just a simple surf should be okay. Are you gonna blow up? It's likely. You're likely going to explode. I don't want to lose Clo Cloister. So I'm going to sack Nido King. We're going to go Zapdos. Because they got four of the same ones. I mean, that's Gen 2 for you. But there's no many Pokemon. And you do need to have Snorlax, Zapdos. They're like required. It's Cloister probably required too, to be honest. I'm honestly Gen 9. You, you do see like Goldango and... Oh, you lived... Oh my god, you lived HP Water. This guy just lived HP Water. Is that allowed? I can't believe they lived HP Water. I didn't think you'd think to calc it. You wouldn't preserve this, would you? I mean, my snow likes to sleep. Maybe you do want to. You gamed. Honestly. I got the same Zapdos as you, mate. We're Zapdos brothers. I don't know. <laughs> we got the same Zapdos set. We got a similar structure. It's Golem offense. I'm, I'm in trouble. Sleep talk rest right now. What is going on? I think I still lose this. I, I'm, I've, got, I've got a spike on the field and little to show for it. He's got the he's got the Snorlax full, and it's tough to. It's going to come down to an explosion mind game here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Does that have talk? Are you going to sleep talk fire blast me? It's possible. Oh, you got me. I'm I'm defeated. Uh, I could still win with with thunder luck. We can get bailed here. Oh. Let's do that. Let's uh, thunder again. We're going to go for thunders at this point. That's the only way. 
Oh, I landed it. I thought you might go snorlax like to preserve. I mean, why would you preserve that at this point? That was a roller coaster. That's cinema. That was that was cinema. That was a close one. A good showcase of Gen Two there. Gen Two can be exciting, of course. That was very well played by BKC in the Moltres was epic. Let's just do Gen Four, even though it's my bad Gen. We'll just show it off in case I lose. Then I, the set will be over, and we wouldn't have shown Gen Four. We're gaming. This seems like a good lead situation for me. This seems powerful. I think I should have actually earthquaked first. No, that's okay. So I can finish this off with um. With Scizor. Oh, that's great neck, true. I didn't nickname again, I forgot to nickname. I don't usually do nicknames, folks. I might go P2 and just T-wave this. Oh, this is Carmine. Would it be sub Carmine that I'm getting destroyed right now? Sub Carmine, I think I'm in big trouble. I'm bringing Paragon 2 because it checks Gyarados and Heatran, folks, because it traces Flash Fire, being it immune to fire itself, and also traces Gar uh, Intimidate, which is cool. Oh, you got Lum. Oh, crap. I do a DD into Earthquake and go crazy. It's possible. It's doable. Or Draco Meteor. Or Dance Again? Gamers? Dance Again? You have a Dancing Again? Let's crunch it. Oh, I got minus one. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. I think he might try to go Gara again to try and intimidate me and withstand the threat. Thought you might do that, yeah. I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this. Folks. Because you're just stealth rocking yourself to dire straits and, and you're giving yourself issues. And that's it's a problem for you. Oh, I have a Pasho Berry. Wait a minute. I have a Pasho Berry. Let me dance again. I did it. To, just to return to neutral. I've got 607 speed on this. It's true. <laughs> Jairachi enters. You got more... You got more counterplay? You Draco Meteor on me? Guess what I've got, dude? I've got Carmine Jirachi. I've Carmine Jirachi on my team. You'll never guess. I do wonder if now I can defeat you. Oh, you got Latios. Latias, should I say. Because he's crazy for Draco Jirachi. That's genius, but I'm not even running Latias, so. Unfortunate. Trick. Oh, now I have a choice specs. What the? What's up with that? That's crazy. Because <laughs> I think actually with this, the. Oh, you're giving it back. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright. Because I think I'm safe with from Tar. After Rocks. Botro, isn't that a, it's an art film or something. We got it. I, I can't mess this one up. For, this is a big, this is a slam dunk. We're, we're nearing the finish line. I even have an Oka Berry on this. He didn't see that one coming. No way. I'm just gonna, uh, it could be Lucario last or something gets me. I don't know. Healing Wish. Oh, that's a problem. But I do have, I could just T-wave it. I just T-wave it. Maybe I didn't need to use, spend my Oka Berry there. That was a problem. That was bad. All right. If I get you to 56 health, I win. Okay. You Psychic that time. I'm just going to, just going to sack this at this point. I'll calm mind up here. And then HP fire. I have also hacks on my side. And then Scizor Bug Bite should KO now. Simple bug bite gets you, and then what's the last? Zapdos. Okay. Could I possibly lose? I think we're good. I'm the only thing I click is HP ice, right? Oh, GG. I did it. We're doing the whole gen, all the gens. How good is this? I don't think that crit mattered, folks. I, I didn't calc it, though, but I don't think... Unless Zapdos is bulky there. We're 2-2, two, two and last is gen 1. I, I didn't think it would be this close against BKC. Honestly. We're doing it. We're shooting off the lovely kiss. We missed. I think I'm supposed to get paralyzed on Chansey. What's lovely kiss again? Psychic. I think he was just trying not to commit to T-Wave maybe or doesn't have it. Okay, we, we did it. I think I go Snorlax and just go for body slams now. Play around counter. I'll go, I'll go here. Just be careful. I could like take T-Wave here or something. You could sing me if you want, sure. I'll take Sing on this. That's beautiful. Fish for freezes while we're at it. Yeah, sleep me. That's okay. We'll take it here. And I don't think you would be Reflect then. Or would you be Counter? Would you be Counter here? I'll just be safe by clicking Reflect. Oh, okay. Ice Beam. You are Counter. 
He's a gamer. What could I, what could be said? That's an incredible play. That's an unbelievable play. I didn't think he had counter. We love to see it. Okay, well, um, I think the plan is you want to T-wave this, break through it with with Zam, with with crits and stuff like with psychics, with drops. Um, should I be doing this? I feel like I should. I think I should be doing this. I did it. And we have a cloister for this. Oh, I think a clamp is a good move because it just checks. Because if he pivots out, I make the guy inactive. I can just do whatever I want. I hate clamp's accuracy is so bad. I was go Tauros. Oh, you woke. It's a timely wake up. I do have Thunderbolt Chansey, which is incredible. That sucks, but we can spread T-Wave now. Seems to be down to stay, so I might be able to land a Thunderbolt. This is good, because now he can't 1v1 me or do too much damage. Oh, I got... Okay, that's that's super lucky. Ah, uh, my bad. That, that sucks a little bit. I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Should I rest? Or explode? For explode's risky. It's, it's hard to break Snorlax. I could have just blown up. I had it right there. It's okay. Oh, in comes Zap. I'm actually bad versus Zap. I don't have Rhydon in this team, which makes me bad. But... Okay, I can sack Jinx. I don't need I don't need this sleep sack anymore. Does T Bolt insult to injury? We woke up. T wave this. You can T wave me too. You can Zapdos can reset T wave by using agility, which is bad. T wave is also good for the disruption still. I think he has to be T waved and then do it. Because he's just listing movies in the chat. I, I, I dropped a drill pack. I didn't even check. I thought T will bolt would be more damage, but I guess against like, Alexander's special stat, of course. I got low defense. That was tunnel vision. That was bad. That was very bad, folks. It's okay, we got Tauros. Tauros can make things happen. No, it can't anymore. It can't do it. But I did throw away Zam, but I think I was still I was still left. Wait, why'd you do that? You get hyper beamed. What's up with this? It's fire spin. Now this is epic. This <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly die here. That's uh that's insane. You're lucky this time, BKC. It's okay, we wake up with Cloyster. And of course, we draw. We freeze the Snorlax. Oh. You, t you tell me there's a chance? Wait a sec, folks. I can freeze the Snorlax. No, no, no. You can now miss Hyper Beam. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. GG's. That was fun. I expected, honestly, to go 03. BKC is really good. I can't believe I won Gen 4 of all things. So I was for sure lose Gen 4. I did I had no chance. I think I played pretty well in Gen 4, to be honest. Yeah, I got a bit lucky, but also... I gamed, right? I gamed. It has now been definitively proven that BKC is the superior game, but I'm glad that I kept it close, even with a bit of luck on my side. I'm also glad that we ended up showing off every single generation from one to five. Thank you for watching. The money got big, big. Cause I'm gonna spend it.